So today's question is, can a mother's love begin before we are even born? Hello and welcome to Med with Sam. My name is Dr. Samira and I am so glad to see you here. If you're new, hello, I'm a doctor who simplifies medical concepts for everyone to understand. And everything I say is backed by scientific research. If you haven't already, do hit the subscribe button because I make new videos every week. I also have a newsletter. So if you would like this kind of content coming straight to your inbox, then there is a link for that in the description below. Okay, let's get straight to it. Can a mother's love begin before we are even born? We are going to be speaking about something called prenatal maternal fetal attachment. A mother's love for their child is probably one of the most strong and biologically sound love there is. A mother's love for their child is ingrained in their mind and probably in their soul too. There's some very interesting science here. Did you know that the seeds of this love are sown from way before you were even born? Prenatal maternal fetal attachment was theorized in the 1970s. It's a term for the bond or the relationship between a mother and her unborn child. Psychologists and scientific experts have tried to study this phenomenon and the impact on overall child development. So how is this attachment formed? From about the fifth to the sixth month, the mother starts to sense her fetus moving about, she starts to really get a feeling of this fetus being a whole other different being growing inside her. This and a few other things make a huge impact on how a mother senses her child and develops this bond for her child. So what leads to the development of this maternal fetal attachment? From the fifth or the sixth month onwards, the mother starts to sense that there is something growing inside her. Um, as the fetus begins to move about, she feels those motions. And also because of the ultrasound scans that are done and she pictures that, she is able to get a complete understanding that there's actually another being that's growing inside her. She starts to picture the baby, imagine it, and then she starts to do cute little things like stroking her belly or eating healthy, staying away from harmful substances, even buying cute little baby clothes. Now this maternal fetal attachment is actually really important not just for the mother's love for her unborn child, but also to develop a bond between parents and the infant after birth as well. So scientists have tried to study what the impact of this maternal fetal attachment is on an infant once it's born and on its development. A study published in the Frontiers in Psychology tried to understand this. They systematically went through all of the research papers that have been published and the studies that have been done on this topic, something called a systematic review. And they went over about 20 different studies that are on this topic. So they analyzed the results of all of these studies and they came up with an overall conclusion Every single one of the studies showed that this prenatal maternal fetal attachment had a significantly positive impact on the bonding between the parents and the infant after the infant was born. This was irrespective of how rich or poor the family was or whether that was a first child or a second or a third child. So this shows that the prenatal maternal fetal attachment is really important for bonding between the child and the parents after the child is born. This finding is really important because for a child to grow and develop, the bond that that child shares with their parent is really important. So any techniques and any scientific methods that can be used to deepen that bond has to be investigated. Now, what about the mother? Can this prenatal maternal fetal attachment have a positive impact on the mother as well? Now we all know childbirth is an extremely traumatic and painful experience. And for some, unfortunately, it's really, really bad. Could be because of mismanagement of pain or other conditions that happen to the mother when she's giving birth. Now sometimes these traumatic childbirth experiences can lead to severe consequences, including PTSD. Researchers have found that the prenatal maternal fetal attachment actually reduced the symptoms of PTSD after a traumatic childbirth experience. Interesting, isn't it? When a mother develops a strong bond with her fetus, not only does it help the child or the infant, especially when they are born and they're developing a bond with their parent, but it also helps the mother 
to develop a strong resilience towards traumatic childbirth experiences. If you know someone who is about to deliver or who is pregnant, or if you are yourself, then don't forget to like this video. Also consider subscribing, like I mentioned earlier, I post videos every week. Send this video to someone you think will be interested in listening to what I have to say. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!